out tonight. Power companies tell customers to prepare for the worst case scenario as Henri is set to make landfall this weekend. Lonnie Quinn just received an update on yeah. its path from the National Weather Service. Lonnie, what does it say? Well, I'm thinking about that lady that we just heard from where I'm hoping the path is going to change and it goes out to sea. The path has changed, okay? This information just came in one minute ago. It's not pushing out to sea. It's pushing more and more to the west. So here we go. Right now, you're still holding on to a tropical storm with 70 mile per hour winds. Here is the latest track. We still believe it's going to become a category one hurricane tomorrow, holding on to its category one status as it pushes into our area. Let's check this out. I want to zoom in tight, though. You ready for this? This is all brand new information. I'm kind of, a, I'm kind of seeing it for the first time with you. Let's put the skinny red line on. The skinny red line. All right, that. That's a change, gang. You've gone now from basically, if you're focusing on the red line, which I want to focus on the whole cone, but you can't help but consider the highest probability. It had been Southampton. Now it's more like Fire Island. The whole thing pushing more and more to the west. So, look, what does that mean? That the timing, first of all, is changing a bit as well. It's slowing up. We now think late Saturday you could start to see some beginning bands come into the area. It would be very late tomorrow, more so overnight. But then all day Sunday into Monday morning, a Long Island landfall is just looking more likely out there. Strong wind, rain, bigger storm surge. It's all on the table. The next update, which comes in at 5 a.m., is crucial because now. Now you're within just about 24 hours of the actual event, and the data is just better. I want to go down to my colleague. Jessica Layton is out on Long Island. You're on Oyster Bay right now. What do you get from the sense of people out, from the people out there? Is the sense that they are taking this, you know, to heart? You know, Lonnie, with any storm like this, it's really a mix. Some taking the wait and see approach, others saying we've been through big storms before and we just can't take a chance. So they are getting prepared. And towns like Oyster Bay are getting prepared, bringing in heavy machinery like this to respond to that storm in a day or two. Unfortunately, cops were just here. It seems that somebody has vandalized this piece of equipment behind me, smashing the windshield, damaging the front end. It really is a shame because this area already has so much on its plate still very much as we just heard in that cone of uncertainty under a blue sky and fluffy white clouds a digital warning to drivers heading to Long Island conditions are about to change I'm afraid of losing my power I just hope they're better prepared than they have been in the past what Doreen Puko didn't know was that hours earlier PSEG Long Island said in a worst-case scenario some could be looking at seven to ten days without power Nassau County Executive Laura Curran called it unacceptable sources tell CBS 2 the utility companies have twice as much help ready to go as they did for tropical storm Isaias a year ago, but it's not doing much for concerns over at the beach bar in Seacliff. I'm scared for the wind, at least, because there's a lot of trees over here and uh, the erosion, of course. We moved to Long Island about two months before Sandy, so everything since then we've got through. With those painful memories of the past come anxiety about flooding and significant storm surge on both the north and south shores. We have a 30-year-old building. God forbid this is head-on. You know, we have some big concerns. This is our legacy. We've been here a long time. Preparations for a hammering from Henri extend to Westchester County, where DPW crews will put up barricades in flood prone areas of Mamaroneck. At the marinas in Connecticut, they're all in the same boat, flocking to secure their property. But I think seeing a hurricane coming this close to Connecticut uh, has us a little bit more um, anxious. But in Oyster Bay, this family is holding out hope that Henri heads away from our shores. I'm hoping that the forecast changes and it changes direction, heads out to sea. That would be the best case scenario. We are all hoping for that and only time will tell. In the meantime, authorities are sending out an early warning tonight. If you happen to lose power, call PSEG Long Island's hotline. Don't call 911. They need to leave those lines open for emergencies during the storm. Live from Oyster Bay in Nassau County tonight, Jessica Layton, CBS 2 News. Okay, Jessica, thank you. And speaking of those power outages, Con Ed hoping to prevent them in the Bronx. Crews were trimming trees in the Pelham Bay section earlier today, reducing the risk of those tree limbs falling onto overhead wires. Other precautions being taken across the city. The Five Borough Bike Tour scheduled for Sunday has been postponed to August 29th. And with the potential for up to four foot ocean swells, New York City beaches will be closed to swimming Sunday and Monday. MTA bridges and tunnels banning trucks with empty or tandem trailers from 11 p.m. Saturday through 11 p.m. Sunday. Stay with CBS2 for continuing coverage on the storm. We'll have updated forecasts plus additional warnings for drivers throughout the weekend. It's all at CBSNewYork.com. Tom.